Picking up where we left off in the last lesson, here we have the Deploy Tool window with the WAR file selected. You can deploy the WAR file to the server this way. The username and password are the ones that you defined earlier. A window pops up that looks something like this. It takes a bit for the deployment to complete, but you do get a complete report of its progress as it goes through there. If you get some kind of error message while you're doing this, you'll have to go back and fix that, then come back here again. Now close this window and save everything. Now that it's deployed, you can use your web browser to see what you've done. Here in the web browser, you enter the URL of your local server and the JSP page. There it is. This is now an HTML page that was produced by having your source file converted into a Java class instantiating that class into an object, running the object, and delivering the output from that object to this browser. Here is what the resulting HTML code looks like. You can see that the original HTML code was retained, the Java code was run to produce multiple copies of the Howdy line, but otherwise the Java code is simply gone. Of course, Java being a complete programming language, we can do a lot more than just loop to repeat code, and we'll be doing that in some future lessons. By the way, if you want to undeploy what you've already deployed, first you select the server on which it has been deployed, then you select the item that has been deployed there, and you go down and you click Undeploy. Say yes to make sure, and you get another window that shows you the progress, and it's done.